questions for the head of the state's transportation system on why Baltimore won't be getting a new light rail system. That's right. The red line has been in the planning stages for more than a decade. But last month, Governor Larry Hogan said he'd be scrapping those plans. All right, ABC 2 News' Christian Schaefer just back from Annapolis picks the story up from there. Yeah, that's right. Jamie Kelly, the state's transportation secretary, fully supports the governor's decision to scrap the red line. Today was the day he had to defend that decision in front of skeptical lawmakers from Baltimore City. The anger stemmed not just from the sudden cancellation of the Red Line project, which Governor Hogan announced last month, but also from the appearance that money that would have been spent on the Red Line in Baltimore would instead be spent on road and highway projects everywhere in the state except for Baltimore. We've distributed it around the state, uh, and now, now uh, we're going to try to fix things in Baltimore City with existing funds. And uh, as chair of appropriations committee, I can tell you the existing funds are not sufficient. At a hearing in Annapolis today, the state's transportation secretary confirmed his boss's vision for transportation was more focused on Senator roads G. than rails. The uh, savings from both the purple and the red line have been committed to roads. He also said the Red Line's planned $1 billion tunnel under downtown was too risky. The project couldn't survive without it, and there was no way to guarantee the cost wouldn't go up once they started digging. The problem for us was that in every single calculation we made, the tunnel was a fatal flaw. Instead, the secretary said improving the area's current transit system will be the focus. He thinks that can be done more quickly than the five to seven years it would have taken to build the red line. I think the idea that says it takes you 90 minutes to do something on public transit that you could do by car in 20 is, is unacceptable. But if the solutions involve more buses, even so-called rapid buses with dedicated lanes, they will be met with skepticism in Baltimore. The buses have to stop at red lights. Uh, the buses don't have priority in traffic situations. And that's precisely what the red line was supposed to do. The Transportation Secretary said he is inviting Baltimore leaders to a meeting on August 10th to look for alternatives to the red line. He would not talk about any specific plans the governor may or may not have at that hearing you saw there today. Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.